there is a very real possibility that one of our main six characters, out of Team Ruby, Jean, and Neo, may actually be killed by the end of the volume. And given how events have been progressing thus far in Volume 9, it's seeming more and more likely that one of them will be killed. I think, if any, it will only be one, as it would be such a shock factor to see on screen that they're probably not going to kill off more than one. And the likeliest possibility that I see happening right now is with Ruby herself. With the emotional state that she's in, and the fact that she took off on her own, she is in the prime position for Neo to catch her and actually succeed in taking her revenge by taking Ruby's life. And that seems like a very real scenario to play out for this volume. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think she's going to be dead permanently, given the way that the Ever After operates, with the paper pleasers and the other beings that reside in the Ever After by dying, well, they die a little bit, but not really, as they are reborn in the world as something new, as the person that they wanted to be when they were still them. And if someone was to die in the Ever After, was to be killed, I think that is likely what would happen. That may even be how the volume itself ends, that one of our main six characters is killed either right at the end of the volume, or my guess either during episode 10 or near the end of episode 9, and then the cliffhanger ending would be that they are ascended, remade as someone who is lacking the memories that they once had, no longer remembering Team Ruby, John, Neo, any of it. Something like that seems like a very real possibility. We don't exactly know how Ascension is going to affect our characters, and that's really not something I'm going to discuss in this video in particular, as I think more than one of our six characters is uh, going to end up ascending by the time they leave the Ever After, and I want to discuss that in a different video. This one's just going to focus on, you know, who may actually end up being killed on screen and the events that will lead up to that moment happening. So on that note, the likeliest candidate I think right now is Ruby herself. Given just the situation that episode 7 of Ruby Volume 9 ended on, Ruby took off on her own. Neo is targeting her, and thanks to Jean's map, we know that the acre that the Jabberwalker normally resides on is right next to the Paper Pleasers acre. So depending on what direction Ruby took off in, and the likeliest direction that she took off in is probably towards the Jabberwalker, towards where Neo has likely set up her base of operations and is endlessly spawning numerous Jabberwalkers, where her power seems enhanced, where she is able to ambush Ruby and get that one-on-one -on -one confrontation that she has been craving for the past three volumes now. There are a number of different ways that encounter could play out. I've gone over a couple of them before on how Ruby might be able to convince Neo that she didn't actually kill Roman Torchwick. If Neo creates a clone of Roman to exact her own revenge, and, well, Ruby's memories of Roman influence that clone to actually tell Neo the truth in some way, shape, or form, well, Neo might be convinced that Ruby isn't the one to blame, and they will end up working towards the common goal together, maybe not necessarily as allies, but just to try to get out of the Ever After. But, with the way that Episode 7 ended off, Ruby in such a distraught state of mind, I don't think she would be able to properly convey anything to Neo. She would just be angry and afraid and not able to really defend herself, and this might lead to Neo actually killing Ruby. This would be an incredibly shocking scene to see on screen, and for everyone else present. If Neo and Ruby are having their conflict, just as Jean, Weiss, and Blake show up to try to save her, Neo runs Ruby through with her hush. That would just add so much extra pain to everyone involved. After everything they've been through thus far in the Ever After, those hints that Ruby has not been okay. Although there were moments where they tried to reach out to her but were interrupted or she just didn't want to talk, they've now realized at the end of Episode 7 just how much Ruby has been struggling. And very likely, all of them are going to do whatever they can to try to save Ruby. And if they try to get to her and are too late, 
that would be such a powerful scene for all of them and would kind of put them in a similar state that Jean's in, where he failed to protect Penny, failed to protect the paper pleasers, and now the rest of her team would fail to be able to protect Ruby as well. It would be an extremely dark scene and cause despair in everyone involved. They would all lash out at Neo and perhaps she would meet her end in that moment as well. I do think that if Ruby would be killed on screen, that she would be ascended. That seems how the progression of souls work in the ever after. That when a soul passes on, it goes to the tree and they are reborn. And I think if Ruby is killed, she would end up going to the blacksmith, picking up the weapon that was Summer Roses, and returning. But that's not the only way that that scene could play out. That Ruby, in her despair, is confronted by Neo. We know that this confrontation with Neo is going to happen, but Ruby may not be the one killed in this scenario. Jean is actually a very likely candidate for that as well. Given that he has failed to be able to protect people over and over again now, that he wasn't able to protect Pyrrha or Penny or Louis, and now not even the paper pleasers, the only ones who he thought he could protect, now he might be in a state where he would try to protect anyone close to him at whatever cost, including the cost of his own life. He may throw himself in front of that final blow that Neo is going to deal Ruby, and Jean may be the one killed. And then he is the one who is taken to the tree and is reborn. But it might not be Jean that throws himself in front of Neo's blade. It could easily be Yang to protect her sister, jumping in front of Neo's blade yet again, as she did at the end of Volume 8. Or it could possibly be Blake or Weiss, though I see them as less likely. Jean in desperation to protect someone, and Yang to protect her sister. Though, considering Yang already did that at the end of Volume 8, I think Jean is certainly the more likely candidate at this point. Ruby and Jean seem the two most likely to end up being killed in the Ever After, and forced to ascend through that. If Jean is killed, then maybe we'll learn that the people of Remnant don't actually ascend. But as I mentioned in uh, my video yesterday, I really hope that Jean has the opportunity to find some peace and some happiness because his struggles have been going on for far, far too long. But there is a third character that might very likely meet their end in Volume 9, and that would be Neo. I know that given her extra power boost in the Ever After, it's a lot less likely that she would be killed, but if all of Team Ruby and Jean gang up on her, I think that they would be able to overwhelm her even in this enhanced state that she is in, with her more powerful semblance. And if they are able to, then it might result in Neo's death as well. Something that I know none of us want to see, I don't think any of us want to see any of these six characters die, but in Neo's case, if she does meet her end, I fear that this one might be a permanent end. That as Team Ruby and Jean overwhelm her, the real Jabberwalker takes that opportunity to attack the one that has imprisoned it, I guess? We don't exactly know what's currently happened to the real Jabberwalker, but it's likely still alive and Neo is keeping it somewhere and creating clones of it. But if its captor is thrown down, then it might take that opportunity to attack. And if Neo is attacked by the Jabberwalker, there is no ascension for her. And that is also a possibility that could happen. I hope that none of them get attacked by the Jabberwalker and all of them have the opportunity to continue on in the Ruby series. But the fact that the Jabberwalker exists in the Ever After, and we know that it does break the cycle, we may very well see it bring an end to one of our six characters' story. And the likeliest for the Jabberwalker to kill would be Neo. The likeliest for Neo to kill would be Ruby or Jean. But it's also a non-zero chance for Weiss, Blake, or Yang as well. These last three episodes of the volume are going to hit a lot of heavy notes, especially with Ruby's trauma out in the open. And now that Ruby is on her own, she's going to be extremely vulnerable to any danger that may befall her, the most prominent of which is, in fact, Neapolitan. So with that, I would love to know your opinions down in the comments below on who you think may be killed in the Ever After, if anyone. 
Do you think it is likely that someone might meet their final end through the Jabberwalker in this volume? Or do you think that someone is going to ascend by actually being killed? I think that multiple characters are likely to ascend, and that's a topic I will discuss later. But right now, I think that we may actually see the main character of the Ruby series, Ruby Rose herself, be forced to ascend by being killed by Neo. It does seem like a real possibility at this point. If you guys enjoyed this video, got you thinking a bit more about Volume 9, the events of the Ruby series, and how things are going to progress from here, make sure to subscribe and join the Guild of the Eternal Flame. If you're a fan of the series No Game No Life, maybe check out my second channel, The Daily Flugel. And if you want to discuss Ruby live or see some games played live, make sure to check out my Twitch channel linked in the description below. I stream every Tuesday and Saturday. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video.